What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of my Road to Pro series where I'm on a journey to play a higher level of golf. But here's what we're doing today as from the thumbnail and the title you guys know. Um, this has not been something that I've done in a very, very long time. When I very start, first started playing golf back in seven to eight years ago, I had a couple lessons. Now I feel like I've gotten to a point where I've kind of plateaued with my game and I just, I just want to break through that ceiling and I think the way that I'm going to do that is getting somebody who understands the golf swing and can help me push those limits that I kind of have right now. So you guys know Mike has been, he's been doing a fantastic job working with me and just like kind of breaking that things down for me. So today we're actually going to be kind of going through a couple of things that I feel like are are holding me back and kind of doing some drills and doing some things to be able to create more consistency in my game. And uh, thank you guys for all the recent support. 200K is right around the corner. I'm trying to beat Matt and Steve, so let's get it. Um, let's run it up, let's do it. I don't know if it's possible, but it would be pretty cool. So see you guys at the range. All right guys, so we made it out to the range here. Obviously we have Michael back on the channel. What's up, what's up the bro? one and only. So basically from the, the last, you know, the first episode of this to now, me and Mike have been talking through a lot. And this is actually gonna kind of be, like I said in the intro, like. I, I guess the first like lesson last time yeah. we were kind of just breaking the swing down mm -hmm. and you know we we got a lot done there obviously there's a few things that we can work on to create more consistency and Mike kind of walk me through those but he's going to kind of summarize that and then basically you guys are just kind of kind of see this process from bird's eye view of I guess my first like I haven't had a, I haven't had a golf lesson in a very long time yeah, it's been I've a while, probably, probably had like two in my whole life yeah I ain't gonna say nothing but kind of tells a little bit <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing just so we were he has that he has an app that he breaks my swing down on yes. he looked at that there was a couple things you saw in there mm -hmm. that you kind of are like yeah we can clean this up definitely definitely like of those? one of the biggest things is last video like like we said Micah uses great rotation but when you slow the swing down a little bit his his rotation kind of gets stopped a little bit because even though that we're thinking that he's using a lot of rotation it looks like it with the blind with a bird's eye view once we zoom in and slow the swing down we can really see that his mechanics with his lower body, it's actually at a stalled moment. What's really happening is as he's making his first turn, he's lifting rather than continuing to turn. So we're really gonna focus on that today, getting his hands in a little bit of a better position at the top so that he can fire his body and get rid of the early extension a little bit. So working on a little bit of rotation today, feeling that body stand a little bit taller, taller at the top of the swing, feeling more of a laid off kind of position so that we can really fire one angle as we're coming through the uh, impact zone so i love it that's what we're going to work on today i love it i love it um so that is that is kind of what we're going to be working on obviously you're just going to hear this we're going to talk through it and you guys are just you know are just as much of a part of this as we are so um let's get right into it i think we're going to do a couple drills to start maybe hit a few balls and then kind of start working through some of these break them down so let's uh let's get right into the action here how we need to do this just like i demonstrated to you already right we need to fill when we turn, we're gonna have this. We're gonna be more like this, okay? I can't do it with this guy. Right. So you're gonna feel like you're more like this at the top of your swing. Right. Okay? Exactly, exactly. So, go ahead and do that again. Good. Now, you're kind of working to this side. I want you to work more here. Okay. Okay? Yeah. You see how that keeps you, you can stay tall that right. way. Right. Right? So let's yeah. keep that, all right? Let's see if we can do that on our own. Better, better. Look at that. You can feel a lot more hip load. Yeah. You should. Okay? Right. So now, do it one more time. Good. Now, the start of the down sweep, okay? We need to start to sequence this part here, right? Exactly. You're gonna feel this leg. Exactly. You're gonna drop, start to turn, and push. Right. Okay? That happens. This is gonna happen here. Now you can extend it through, then feel yourself fold over. Right. Okay, so you see how your body works more this way instead of right. that way. Now we can work it more this way and release it out there. Okay. Good, and go. There you go. All right, so now we need to fill it with a little bit of weight because mm -hmm. when we put the weight in there, we'll feel the weight. Right staying balanced okay good good yep there you go now start the turn good turn 
toss it to me. Good. All right. So let's do that again. Let's put both hands on it this time. Turn it. Turn. Pivot. So you're going to feel that your upper body and everything pivots to the top. If not, okay. swing yeah. to the top, okay? Let's pivot to the top of the swing. Now I'm going to stand way over here. There you go. Fire. There you go. <laughs> Good. No. If you get me this way, yeah. what is that doing? I'm, I'm continuing to turn. You're continuing to turn. Now, if you had threw that ball right here, right. you let hands go. Okay? Right. Just kind of threw it out there. This is full turn, full release. And go. There you go. Shot put. You know those big guys? Yeah. Oh, they yeah. chunk it out there, right? So that's almost the feeling. Mm -hmm. Here. Okay, yeah. Underneath, that, it stays underneath, and you can explode through it, okay? Good, fire it. There it is, there it is, okay? I want you to now start to take this turn. You're gonna get here. Now, I don't wanna see you do this. I want you to get it here, pivot, okay. and yeah. then throw it to me, okay? okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna see, uh, synchronize each movement right now. Good? There you go, fire it. Good. Again. Good, yep, fire it. There you go. One more good one. Really try to knock me over on this one. Fire it. Yeah, yeah. It's such an unnatural feeling for me because I always, I know, I've always, I've always not rotated much on my back. I know, back. I know. <laughs> I've, no, I've always known for a very long time that that is creating inconsistency. I've noticed your stance before too. Like your stance, you, you kind of always had a little bit of a close stance. Yeah. Okay. So when you tried to fire from the inside, right, you were going against your lead side and your lead side couldn't get out of the way. So you right. had to force the release. Right. All right. So, got this bag here. The position is the same thing. We're going to turn, we're going to load, load it in here, right? Now, when you make this release, you're gonna be here. And I wanna okay. see if we can get more of the body this yeah. way, okay? So I'm whipping, right hand is more here. Okay. Now if you, on top, the flip, this is gonna come right. like this, not okay. into there, okay? So, nice set, good. Still feel that? Yep. Fired. Good. So you saw how you like this. I want you. Okay. Yeah. Back. Good. Yep. Do it again. Just big turn. There you go. Fire. Good. Good. Yep. You yeah. see how your body is firing through now, right? Good. Fire. There it is. Slap the heck out of this thing. <laughs> really get into this one. Nice. Good turn. There you go. There you go. You still, I still want to be feeling this. You want to feel that every single time. Good. Now that we know what trail arm does, now we need to get lead side, lead arm into it now, okay? So now when you turn, you're going to feel left hand. If there was a wall right here, you're going to feel the left hand push up against the wall. Okay. Get to the wall. There you go. Okay. Now when you turn, I should be able to see the alignment rod straight, just like this. Yep, there you go. Now, you're going to start to fire, but well, body's going to go. Body goes, now you whip. Good, okay? Three knuckles. Let these three knuckles, there you go. Good, okay. good. That's a good turn. Good. One more time, but I don't want you to feel like you go this way. Okay. There you go, there you go. Getting that body through just a little bit more, quicker. Good, that one touched the ground just a little bit, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's get right in the middle of that bag, extend okay. it. Big turn. Mm -hmm. Close, yeah. <laughs> close. You see how you're, Yeah. this is you. Mm -hmm. Right. We're getting rid of that. Three knuckles down when you do it, three knuckles down. You're gonna feel the three knuckles drive down. There it is. There it is. Body worked yeah. this way. Now we're ready to release. 
Just felt all that stuff, right? Yeah. Everything was working independently. Mm -hmm. Now we need to put it all together. Right. Okay, let's put it all together now. That's good stuff right there. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's it right there. That's it right there. So I got that tee kind of a little bit too far outside. So I want you to just cut right on the inside of that tee, okay? Okay. Cut right to the inside of that tee. We got some drive. That actually felt pretty good. We got some drive. <laughs> we got some drive. Can you feel your legs being more active? Yeah. Okay, good. That's real good. Because that's what's getting in the way right now. We're just leaving them a little bit, okay? Okay. So, you can be as aggressive as you want. Be aggressive as you want. As long as you can make that full swing and keep balance, okay? There you go, let me see it. There you go. Good. Yep, good. Now we're gonna start, we're gonna start the drive down. We're gonna feel a little bit of a squat. Good. Yep. And then we're gonna really, really torque ourselves up. There you go. So you so now when you shoot yourself up, right, what you're doing is you're creating the angle to rotate off of. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Let's put driver in hand. That one felt solid. That was solid. Really? <laughs> yeah. There was a good here. Okay. Nice extension through. And I can see body, you're like a little bit of the head level. It's sunk in and then it shot back up okay. on that one, okay? There we go. That's the same flight too. Let's get driver. Let's hit a couple of those and we're gonna go, we're gonna put it into play. Okay. One hole, one hole we'll put it into play. Now that we got this feeling, it's nice and fresh, right? Yeah. So let's go ahead and see if we can put, put it into play so that we can pick our start lines, mm -hmm. okay? Because that's how we're gonna be able to take this right here out to the golf course. Yeah, yep. You see how much more legs you got now. Mm -hmm. Let's use yeah. all of it, okay? Let me, let me see your first checkpoint at the top of your swing. Your first checkpoint. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm hmm There you go. There you go. You can get that body out of the way. Drive with those legs. Check alignment. I'm telling you, once we get this in, bro, you're going to be able to hit a fade so nice. Okay. You guys, are going to be able to hit a nice fade. I know you can't see that with this angle, but that was, I may have a little <laughs> off balance, but I hit that center of the face like I've never hit it before. Yeah, that was freaking pepper. Let's do that same thing. Check alignment. There you go. Let me see your checkpoint, top checkpoint. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you wanted to turn that one over, right? Yeah. What did you use to turn that over more? I feel like I rotated pretty good. You rotated faster to turn it over more. Okay. That's the misconception of a lot of people. When they're trying to, it's when they're trying to maneuver the ball. They're gonna stop that body rotating and they're gonna turn over and yank the club over and that's gonna yeah. yank that toe. Then it also pulls body and brings them on top of the ball. So it moves the low point. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now we're staying, we're feeling more of a load, staying nice and tall. Mm -hmm. Now when we get into it, we're just letting the rotation right. happen. And the ball is getting in the way. We're not maneuvering anything. Yes. A little bit, a little bit more. A little, little bit more. Let's get a little bit more. There you go. There you go. Don't jump it. Oh. Don't jump it. <laughs> yeah. That's you. Okay. Jumping into it, okay? Like I want you to feel that you use the ground, but I don't want you to work towards it okay. or on top right. of it. Work behind okay. it. Micah. Here, just stop it. Yeah, I'm flipping. Okay, that makes sense. I can fire that, that yeah. body. Fire that body. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. And I sir. feel the rotation. <laughs> so it's all in the rotation. All in a rotation, right? We don't have to use hands. Right. Ball's literally what? Getting in the way. Mm -hmm. Ball's getting in the way. All right, guys. So I'm going to move you guys down the line here. Just huge progress with the rotation of the body, which is something. And I know a lot of people in the comments, y'all have noticed about, you know, just the lack of rotation. So this is, this is awesome. And yeah, right now we're using 
body rotation. Right. We're almost, we haven't fully eliminated the hands, but we got more of this body really working through. Yeah. So golf ball is just getting in the middle of right. all the chaos. It's a lot more repeatable too. <laughs> yes, a lot more consistent, We're feeling nice and stacked and we can use that rotation. Checkpoint again. Great, great. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that one right there, that's where you get about to right here. Hands still get away from me a Yep, bit. it gets away from you, leaves that face kind of open. Okay. Okay, feel that drive, feel that drive more. Maybe a little bit open, but I, I felt pretty good about that one. I'm, I'm fine with it. <laughs> I'm fine with it. So if you left that open with your hands though, right? That lead hand, you didn't have the three knuckles down. So it was still a little open. Right. So what did we just end up hitting? A little fade. A little fade, oh my <laughs> God. That's your best <laughs> yeah, bro. I don't it's either a draw or a slice. <laughs> That's your best one yet, bro. <laughs> Those are absolutely tatted. Unreal. I need some on that one, man. <laughs> good God, that was a good one. That's what I like. I love that. Just the sound, the right. flight. I actually feel like I'm swinging slower. Now, well, you're letting, you're not having to race your upper body through. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're letting that lower body do all that for you to whip that upper body. We'll take that all day long, bro. Yeah, that's not moving left or right. Either. No, that's a dead straight shot. If we want more turn, we feel three knuckles down more. We fire that body more. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and work a draw. Let's go work a good draw. Okay. Don't out race it with your hands. I'll race it with your body. Okay. Welcome. That is just beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I like what well, I like all what everything is going right now. Let's go put it to one hole. All right. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh man. Guys, that feels awesome. The the rotation, it feels so much more controllable. It feels so, a lot more powerful too. You're using rotation. Using more centrifugal force and momentum yep. versus just trying to hit it hard. Exactly, exactly. Which is huge. Yep, so, getting the hands, kind of, we're kind of getting hands out of the way. Mm -hmm. we're using we're using nothing but rotation right, right now. Right, which is, this is just awesome. I think there's there's a lot here. I'm pretty I'm pretty happy about what we've done out here oh, today. Yeah. But uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna go out on the course, play a hole, and take this some out of there where we don't, where we have, you know, a little more consequence if I hit a bad shot. So let's go out to the first hole, see what happens. See if I can uh, take it out there. All right, so we're out here at the first tee. Um, we're actually gonna, Mike wanted me to hit six iron off this first tee so I can have another iron into the green because it's a relatively short hole. Um, and that'll kind of give us a little more feedback on, on what we've actually done. I think yeah. he's gonna throw a alignment rod down or something here. Yeah, because um, everything that we learned, we just learned how, we just learned that his body, we, we created a little bit more rotation, created a little bit more space for him to feel a little bit more freedom on firing lower body and keeping hands ahead. He was more in the impact position like this. Now we got him more with body through, hands way ahead. So the last thing that comes through is the club head. Right. And continuing that rotation on letting it release left, that's getting the compression that we need. That's shallowing out the club a little bit better. And now we got a better smash so now we, now, now we can have a penetrating ball flight. Now that we're out here on the golf course, now we need to put it into play. And the best way for us to put it into play is to take it out to the golf course. So while we're out here on the golf course, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find start lines, checking alignment, making sure that we're comfortable with the swing that we're going to, that we're going to hit. Normally, Michael likes to hit a draw. So that's what we're gonna set up to. We're gonna set up for him to hit the draw. I want you to hit the draw, okay? And for us to hit that draw, right? Tree right in the middle middle of the fairway i want you to start your golf ball right where the big tree is you got those two little small trees right below it on the right have your start line on that small right tree okay that's the second one all right. all right so we let our hands take over yeah right now let's fire body let's get another ball all right. and let's fire that body we'll take that we'll take that yep it felt better because you were more right here rather than right already there right. and the body's still back right. here okay and that ball is not spinning crazy nope. left and right which is exactly and we're fighting we're a little on. bit of wind and it's holding yeah even though you got it up there a little bit higher it still held this line right. so 
that rotation is big key. That's huge. huge. That's huge. All right, guys, so this is where the second one ended up. Um, I'm gonna hit another six iron into this green. We kind of analyzed those two swings and- Let's check. Let's make sure we got good alignment. Let's do another pre-check with the top, with our top, top of the line. Good, good, yep. There you go, fire that body more. Don't let the hands race it. Don't let those hands out race. Body, there you go. Good. Let's make sure we're firing body and we're starting the ball on that intended line. Intended start line, not target. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You see what happens when you use that lower body? Yeah. There you go, good stuff, man. You started it right on the line that you wanted, right? Yeah. You fired your body and you let your body rotation release that golf ball, right. not your hands. Right. Guys, that was, I feel a lot of progress from today's, from today's lesson. Mike, yeah. thanks so much, man. Just, I mean, huge. We just kind of took a couple things and really focused on those. Nothing like too, too aggressive in my swing, but just trying to make it more efficient. Yeah, just I trying mean, to make it more efficient. our changes that we're going to have right now, they're not going to be dramatic changes. We're, we're not going to full on change, you know, change a lot of big things about your right. swing. The, the changes that we're going to have are going to be very minimal. Mm -hmm. And the top of that swing, it was so just kind of across the line and really vertical with that right hand that you had to cast and you had to fill the club head and that was the only way you're going to be able to was to right. throw it so now that we fixed that man it's a small change right right we load up the lower body mm -hmm. we build some a little bit more rotation yeah so now that we can trust all this stuff right here right now and now it's up to you yeah get out there and start banging <laughs> yeah. some balls man yeah and that is just, it's such a weird feeling to me to, th to think about more rotation because I've never done that. I like, I guess the way that I've taught myself golf pretty much up to this point is just like learning how to time it up, you mm -hmm. know, and yeah, just... you know, I've, I've gotten, I've gotten pretty far, which is awesome, but I'm ready to break through to another level and you guys know that. So once again, huge shout out to Mike for taking time out of his day to, to help me with this. And oh, yeah, his Instagram is linked in the top of the description. So check him out, hit him up if you're in Dallas, if you're not in Dallas, um, just a great teacher. So we'll see you guys. Uh, next week back for another episode of this so thanks for tuning in catch you guys later peace